What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the best players under 600,000 coins, starting off with the goalkeepers. We have now got finally the addition of Allison. He's currently coming in at 550 at the moment, so at least a semi-decent price to be honest. We've still got Van der Sar coming in at 513, so he's still the second most expensive goalkeeper I believe, because you've got Czech at 390, you've got Edison at 60, Larissa's SBC has gone at 120, but when it comes to goalkeepers, I normally have a couple of favourites. So Allison would be number one just for the fact that he's team of the year. We then have the gold. I like Courtois, number one in my eyes. The best goalkeeper in the game is Van der Sar for me, but I could take submissions for Yashin, as well as potentially some people really like Czech, Czech, Schmeichel. I'm not a big fan of Czech. But I'm assuming there is always people. The big thing with goalkeepers is if you ever look at all of these uh, kind of best meta in the position, you look at ranking the goalkeepers, take a look at the comments and think, where is there like a guaranteed pick? So everybody likes Courtois or everybody likes Allison. There is no solidarity in it. There is so many people that like so many different goalkeepers. And I think this captures most. Not a big fan of Larice. The SPC has gone. But everybody else, I feel like you could make a case for. Then we go into fullbacks. That is, I'd say, the second cheapest position in the game. You've obviously got a solid amount in this. To be honest, you easily could have got away with a whole defense in just SBCs. I think just as a notable kind of variety in Backer and also Havertz, both of them were incredible SBCs. We have got Alfonso coming in a little bit more expensive if you really wanted to. Ashley Cole, I think, is just over the threshold of 600 as well. But we do have good players that you could buy. Is a question, a comment. Let me know down below in your main 11 or at least... 11 plus your subs, how many of them players are tradable? Or at least you've paid for them. Get rid of the packs. How many have you actually paid for? Because I don't think I've paid for a single card other than maybe a review this entire year. Let me know down below. I'm interested to know. I'll also put a community post to figure out that as well. But onto the left backs. We've got Furlan Mendy. Always a great shout. Teo Hernandez. His team of the year is mwah, beautiful. The one person who actually I think I've missed out, I'm praying that he's more expensive than what I thought. He is. He's 650. Frimpong's Frunderstruck. What a card. But his team of the year as well is outstanding. The left back and right back is mad in team of the year. But if you look, Teo's got a few different cards. He's obviously got himself two in forms. He's also got an ultimate dynasties and a team of the year to follow. So a very good selection you can go with. I'm a big fan of Lazarazu. I think he's a decent UCL hero. I'm definitely interested to see where he goes forward. And the big thing is going to be is what's the next double play style plus when we get triple eventually? What's that going to be like and who's going to be it? So that's something to always look at. I would say personally back as one of my favorites, followed by Havertz or vice versa, depending on what SVC you've done. I'm still a big fan of Furlan Mendy if I'm looking between the three of these. So it's it's all up for speculation what your fullbacks are like. Right back wise, Walker as a centre back slash right back or the evolution is always going to be top class. Reese James is still on the radar as a decent card. He may not be playing full to his potential through injuries, but he always will get a card in Ultimate Team. Being English, Chelsea, Prem, he's always going to be one of them cards they throw in. Cancelo, naturally a, a big debate with him. Left back, right back, whipped pass. He's got the potential to really kind of get up there and maybe in the next... I don't even know if they'll even call it shapeshifters, but if we get one where it's a position change, if we could get a CDM Cancelo with a little bit more on the shooting as well as as well as well physicality to boost it up to that 84 minimum, that card will be a joke as well, especially already with a 4-4. Beautiful. Mazorazu, I'm quite happy with the chemistry in obviously his radioactives. That one is always a nice Bundesliga one, but we do have Frimpong now, who again is just going to take all of that. Trippy is kind of more of your B-Tech of Walker and James. He's got the whipped pass. To be honest, same as Trent. You've got a nice selection of English right backs. I don't think, can any of them play left back? I don't think they can. We've got right back and Trent can obviously go into the center mid as well. Trent actually in a CDM is very much like Cancelo. Once he gets that upgrade in like the 93, 94s and then adds a center mid, he's absolutely talented there. 4-4 four, four on him. He's got the whipped pass, which I think pretty much most have. We've got Trippier, Trent and also Cancelo alongside Backer, Havertz. 
Uh, I think these two don't even have one, which is crazy. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7 Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable, but make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. And the ever growing, well, the ever smaller list of center backs, we have now got into a point where, to be honest, a lot of people have got Maldini, they've got a team of the year potentially, you've got a Gold Virgil, you've got a Blanc, you've got a that's Saliba Evolutions, Company's UCL Hero from all of the picks. There's a lot of center backs, but all of them go into like, 10 to 15 center backs. There's no more kind of spread out from there. Maybe you see an Alaba as an evolution as well. He's a good mention. Varane obviously has his Thunderstruck, but also an evolution that went to 88 as well. Company's got a one higher card, but I'd say that one is still just as good with the Anticipate. Blanc slowly losing it for me now. I feel like we're now stepping up. There's a lot of people that say Maldini isn't the one. I clearly disagree. I feel Maldini's absolutely incredible in this game. Yes, there is definitely more than more than just a normal select few now. There's like kind of last year you had Maldini, Virgil and Lucio as kind of like the main three. Then as we go up, there was a couple in the top category, but it was predominantly to get to Lucio, Maldini and Virgil. This year as well, a big one if you've not looked at him, Rio Ferdinand's team of the year icon is crazy. Very, very expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's not like he's going to fit into this list, but he is absolutely nuts. He's still 4.8 million. Crazy card. But we've also got, like I say, Saliba. You could evolution him as well. I think the evolution is still there. Tomore does have a better version. I'm pretty sure in the Fire and Ice, he's got himself the Ice version is a center back. The Fire version is a center back. But I want to say that is a bit expensive as well. 1.079 mil. So you're going for the cheaper option, which is always nice. And Arejo definitely pulls himself under. If I was looking and picking two from here, I'd probably go Virgil Company. This is where the midfield slightly loses a bit of spice because as we go up the pitch everybody definitely increases in value and with the amount of icon SBCs we've got especially team of the years as well now I feel like a few people have managed to get a couple I don't see them widespread other than the messy glitch yesterday but definitely most people have got one or they are probably going to get one by the end of it hopefully I hope everybody gets one then obviously you go into kind of the lower end here we're looking at players that are very good. There's a lot of players that have got better versions. Putielis, better version. Bon Matti, Bellingham, Musiala's the best version. Yaya Toure, Sauer. I'd say there's there's a good, I'd say 80% under a mil now that have got a better version, which is kind of what EA want. They always want progression. And it's clear to see that cards are getting, for instance, like Salah has got like, I'm pretty sure he's got a crazy amount of cards, but we've got... The 89 gold, we've then got a 90 in form, 91 trailblazer, 91 player of the month, 91 in form, then 92 in form, 92 winter wildcard, and a 92 team of the year honorable. They are progressing, but at a, such a small rate. This is why I kind of thought cards should be just put back. And the whole point of having the same card with the same price is what they're doing is changing play styles, changing skill move, weak foot, position, chemistry bonus, and it adds a different value to each one. And I get it. It makes sense for them to get a bigger database, but not really change the ratings. They're obviously going to keep the 99. Whether we ever see 100, I think that would be absolutely nuts, but I just don't see it just yet. But I think they could have just brought everyone back. Instead of Mbappe being 91, he's an 88, he's an 86. But then a Yaya Torre starts at an 84, a Messi starts at an 83. You kind of then progress up to the 99. I feel like it would be better in a slower progression, but a higher increase in between each card. So instead of Salah now being... A, what a 92 so three upgrades over what he's already got from the base but he's got like seven cards you could have him at a nine you could have him at like a 90 now and he's still got nine more ratings to go and he still has a great progression of an 85 an 86 an 87 a 90 it's food for thought, bit of a rant but when we look at the midfield i feel like the spanish girls in the barca liga f phenomenal all of them if you can get the link between them they're beautiful beauty uh, beauty <laughs> Putielis. Putielis, 
Five star, five star. Incredible. We've then got Bon Matty with a four five. Very good card. Could get a cheaper option with her in form. And Patri, or Patrice, as a four star, four star as well. You've got first touch, technical, long ball pass. They all work well, really together. When you kind of take one away, Sometimes it's a little bit hard. You could get away with the two of a Putielis or a Bon Matty and a Patri. You probably could get away with Bon Matty and Putielis together, but I feel like the defensive ability always adds that stack. We have got a Renato Sanchez, who I can imagine at some point will go into a lovely evolution. I'm just waiting on it. He's gone from 78 common in the way to an 86. Evolutions-wise, you could make him to 84 at the moment. So I'm waiting for that next level up. But he does have a very good base variety already. So that's going to be a very good card going forward. Our icons are Sauer, Kaka, and Makalele. You've obviously got a CDM, Centre Mid, and Cam. I do think all of them have their own position. I would say that Kaka is definitely the better of the three in terms of what he is in his position. I feel like a 5-4 rapid plus Kaka is going to do work in that attack. Sauer has got a better version in, even though this card is a very good box to box strength wise possession in the midfield could be an issue if you don't have a dm next to her and i do think makalele even though again very good cdm he is slowly getting washed out now by team of the years team of the year honorables sbc's left right and center so you are seeing less and less of these kind of mid to higher tier icons as well rudiger on the other hand 336k He's a, it's kind of a name more than anything. I think he's a nice card, but I would, if I could choose, I'd wait for Ramos and go get Ramos, if I'm being honest. Yaya Torre is still phenomenal as ever. I would say the triple threat is definitely better in a lot of ways, but it is only a single upgrade as well. So you've always got to be wary. The only, well, I say the big thing that he's got is a play style plus, which is only press proven. So it isn't necessarily a complete game changer, but any upgrade to Yaya is always phenomenal. Musiala, on the other hand, I like the upgrade. He's technically cheaper than his 90 rated card, which is just crazy to think. But also, there's a lot of packs being opened. 300k for him is an absolute steal. The only thing you kind of need is, I feel like he should have had the double playstyle plus. And that is another thing, how they're given cards. For instance, Winter Wildcard Sala is 92 in form. Then they've gone with a team of the year honorable. But the selling point is, the stats are exactly the same, but he's got a double playstyle plus. It's fair enough. Bellingham, on the other hand, I like him as a box-to-box. -box. I must admit, I would try and recommend going for the uh, higher version of him at the minimum. I believe he's got an 89 other than his team of the year. That's coming in at 660. So if you're looking at a 600 price tag, if you could get 60k extra, then Bellingham might not be a bad shout in his 89 with the intercept play style plus. Then we go on to one of my favorite parts of this is wingers. Wingers this year are just absolutely great. We have so many and so many good choices as well and it's not even the inclusion of women i feel like they've really kind of gone at the wingers really proper like i say salah's got like seven versions we have got hansen as a great addition diane incredible absolutely phenomenal if you've got to get any card 560 for her is a steal double play style plus whipped pass if you wanted to cross it traveller if you wanted to cut inside that's just perfect. The only thing that she could have more is a 5-5. Five five, and genuinely, that would be a brilliant winger straight off the bat. Then we obviously have Hemp. Kind of more lower tier now. Definitely when she came out, the whip pass works perfectly. She is an out-and-out -out winger. Then we have a few of the regular faces. We have a Vinny. We know how good he is. At 300k on a gold card still, it speaks volumes. Luis Diaz. Yeah, it is Luis Diaz. I don't know why that didn't sound right. But 580, the only thing he's missing for me now is, is kind of going into, say, like an A+. plus Because no play style plus, it is going to have a factor at some point. Kravat Shkilia, love the radioactive. Don't even bother with the team of the year on rule SBC. That is so expensive. When you can go get 250 for this guy, there's still a 5-5. Five five. He can play both wings. It's an absolute must. And chemistry sorted with him. Georgie Best. Little bit on the kind of end topic here. I feel like he's kind of now washed out a little bit. We more than likely have a lot more wingers that are better for the same price or even cheaper. The Saka, unfortunately, we do have two 91s of him. One does have a Playstyle Plus, which unfortunately isn't this one. And I want to know how I think the other one was about 700, I want to say. 
703, so he's just a bit out of the budget. I wouldn't say he's my go-to anyway. I would probably go with Salah, Diani, or Dembele, to be honest, with a 5-5. 5 560 for him, absolute steal. 97 pace, rapid plus. The, the, the rest is history. Ribery, on the other hand, one that I did think would, or at least should have taken off a lot more. 620, which is a decent price for a base icon still. With the amount of SBCs we've got, that's still a very good price for an 88 rated especially. His team of the year icon is phenomenal, as we can imagine. He's a 5'5". Five five. He's got a decent amount of pace. You go with the Hunter, you've absolutely sorted. So he's genuinely a must. If you're, pro if you're from like the FIFA... I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say like FIFA 11 era. I want to say I, I don't even know when he was prominent. To be honest, he was he was definitely in the game. Him and Robin together. So we're looking at around FIFA 12, FIFA 12, FIFA 13, where he was kind of 90 rated. He was prolific. Him and Robin together were the two that you wanted, 100%. It was 90 him and Robin was 90 as well or 88. Them two together mixed with a cheeky Mario Gomez at 87 was fantastic. And then we finish off on the strikers. So not necessarily my favorite position anymore because strikers are so expensive. Like when we look at this, I don't think I see any of these players in anybody's team. It tells you the level of either A, everybody's pack look. Granted, Mbappe, Eusebio were two SBCs that I feel like most people did, or at least did one of them. I've personally got Mbappe and Eto. Eto is... I don't even know how much Eto is now. He's currently 650, so he's getting closer to the budget. So I'd say looking at between about seven to 900 would be where my kind of pinnacle striker point would be. So where you kind of fall down on maybe a cheaper keeper, cheaper fullbacks, cheaper center backs, you could put that added price into this position. And I would definitely do that. Now saying that, if you've got one of them SBCs, so if you've done a Dalglish, Eusebio, Henri, Mbappe twice, don't do him twice. Um, or who else has even had a striker? I feel like there's another one that's just there and I can't remember him. But if you've done one of them, then potentially one of these could go. I quite like Sammy Kerr. I feel like a team of the year definitely is going to be a big replacement. But she was definitely better than anticipated. Kola Mwane is always going to be relevant. I feel like once he again gets a, maybe a play style plus an upgrade to a 90. The card is going to be absolutely cracked during footies as well. Jao Pedro has kind of reached his pinnacle now. There's no more upgrades for him. He's 89. He's had a fantastic run. But if he's not going to get another big upgrade. Like 90 to 91 at a minimum. There is unfortunately no talk points left for him. CR7 will forever be relevant. I feel like he'll be 45 and still 85 rated when the game comes out, but he most definitely is still always very good. Body type is perfect. 5-4, Traveller Plus. He's a good card. Yes, as we go up, the Winter Wild card is extremely incredible and his team of the year is just CR7. It is what it is. Greasy would love an upgrade for him. Unfortunately, we haven't seen anything since this team of the group stage. Whether we see anything... I doubt we see anything for Road to the Final for him, but we could potentially. They are going absolutely big when it comes to these upgrades, so whether we see him again go through would be very interesting. Valali, I'd say, is very much like Jao Pedro. Started off phenomenal with the upgrade. He's much better than his previous version, but I feel like he's starting to slowly lose that value quickly. Felix, I would say, is more of a winger. He's kind of one of the most expensive at the moment, but body type 5'4", he's always a very good card. I just prefer him kind of on the wing. The physicality for me just really doesn't do it, especially with that body type. And then we have some icons. Good Muller coming in relatively cheap, to be honest. He's definitely not the worst striker you could get. Rooney, I would say, is a bit expensive. 500k for that Rooney. I'm not a big fan. Power Shot Plus is nice, but a three star, four star, it isn't hitting for 500k. Whereas Dalglish Butra, you got a three five with his upgrade on his Winter Wild card at about 750. Very good card nonetheless, great striker. Whereas Dalglish, same striker ability, but a four star, five star, and the Finesse Plus is always a card to be reckoned with. But if you've done the Thunderstruck, there's unfortunately no point in that. And that's going to be the list for everybody. Let me know down below what your team is. Peace.